On Saturday, July 21st at approximately 1.30 in the afternoon, Jean Atkins, 28 years of age, became involved in an argument with a 17-year-old female acquaintance and his 76-year-old grandmother, Mary Madison. During that argument at Mary Madison's residence in the 1600 block of East 32nd Street, Atkins shot his grandmother and a 17-year-old young woman. Atkins kidnapped the young woman and fled in his grandmother's Toyota Camry. During the pursuit, Atkins fired his firearm through the back window of the vehicle at the pursuing officers. The officers did not return fire during the vehicle pursuit. After pursuing the suspect for approximately 15 minutes, Atkins' vehicle crashed into a light pole in front of the Trader Joe Market at the 2900 block of Hyperion Avenue in the Silver Lake District. Sadly, during this incident, 27-year-old Melida Corrado, the assistant manager of Silver Lake Trader Joe's, was struck by gunfire and died as a result of her injury. From our investigation, we have discerned that when Gene Atkins' vehicle crashed into the light pole located outside the entrance of Trader Joe, individuals inside the market ran towards the front door. One of those individuals was Ms. Corrado. At the same time, Atkins exited his vehicle and ran towards the store's entrance. As he did so, witness statements and physical evidence from the scene support that Atkins fired multiple rounds from a semi-automatic semi -automatic pistol at the officers. So they had to make a split-second decision. And, and as they did that, uh, I'm here to say that that is the worst, worst decision that any officer ever wishes to have to make. But at the same time, our duty to protect the public is sworn. And that means that those tough calls you have to make, 